In this ISTQB Agile Tester Certification tutorial, I'm going to talk about what is test-driven development and test-driven development lifecycle. So test-driven development um, became popular through extreme programming approach. So we have seen that there were a couple of agile development approach and extreme programming was one of the approach and test-driven development became popular from extreme programming. However, the test-driven development is being used in other agile development approaches as well. And you can use it in um, Scrum or in Kanban, wherever you want, um, your project wants, you can use test-driven development in the approaches, um, in other agile approaches. And even uh, some of the sequential life cycle, um, uh, sequential methodologies like waterfall or V model, uh, people used to or projects used to use test driven development approach as well. Now test driven development approach helps developers focus on clearly defined expected results. The tests are automated and are used in continuous integration. And test driven development is used to develop code guided by automated test cases. Now let's see what um, the approach is so the test driven development approach is you add the test cases before adding any functionality into your code so before you actually or before developer starts coding you add the test cases so as a part of the test team or in the agile development approach once you join as a tester your uh, if your team is following the test driven development approach your role is to provide the test cases for the test driven development approach and help um, the team to identify the test cases and the scenarios that need to be tested uh, for the test development approach so once the test cases are added uh, defined by you and the whole team after that the developers start coding and what the code is they code so that they can make the test pass by adding the new code once you once they know that these are the test cases that needs to pass or need to be fulfilled by the code that they are developing so they start coding to make those tests pass and the third step is to refactor the code to pass the written test so once they write the code they run it if there are failing tests they again refactor the code and um, unless all the test cases that are written uh, in TDD approach are passed. Now TDD uses following processes. So if you, uh, the, the process is you write a failing unit test, you make the unit te test pass and then repeat this whole process. So uh, the test case is defined by you. They are um, the unit test before uh, the actual development starts. Um, and they'll be the failing test in the first instance. Once the developer starts coding, uh, he'll start passing those uh, unit tests because uh, there will be some code to uh, fulfill the scenarios that has been written and if there are some failing tests uh, after the execution he'll repeat the same refactor process until all the test cases that are defined in TDD approach are passed now let's see in the next slide the whole TDD process cycle so you add the test cases which are the unit test cases and in agile um, projects the whole team so you mostly tester identifies these test cases along with the whole team and then uh, the developer uh, watches these tests th that they are failing and then he writes the code uh, runs the test again and see how many tests are passed and how many are failed and then he refactors the code until all the test cases are passed and that cycle keeps going on so there, there could be you know, like new test cases again added within the cycle until all the test cases are passed this cycle continues adding code refactoring the code and adding new test cases so this whole cycle keeps on uh, keeps going on unless all the test cases are passed now that's the basic um, uh, test driven, driven development cycle and what are the benefits of test driven development that in TDD approach the entire code is covered under the test as code is written only after adding the test. So because you write the test cases first so there is no code which is written uh, uh, the, the any or any code that is written in TDD approach is upon the test cases. So you you have the test case 
that is already there and the code is written only to fulfill that particular test case or to pass particular test case. So there, the coverage or the test coverage in TDD approach is um, uh, very good. And then there are less defects because you start with the test cases first. So entire code is covered by the test cases or test scenarios. So final application eventually has less defects in test driven development approach. So in this tutorial, we'll learn what test driven development is uh, and what is the TDD cycle, test driven development cycle and some of the benefits of test driven development. Thank you.